the building is also greener in a deeper way in the way it operates. If you could tell us a little bit, Richard, about the decision um, FIPS made to be a truly sustainable building when it might have been easier to just operate in a more traditional manner and to not be so considerate of the impact on the environment. You know, when we got involved in that whole process, we got really excited about, about everything LEED stood for, and we said, you know, why stop at the building? Let's look at everything we, we do. So we've really been focusing on looking at all of our operations, all of our programs, and really trying to make them be as green as possible. And our holiday show is a really good example of some of that. Um, several years ago, we switched out all the lights that we use for lighting our holiday display to LED lights, which are a lot more efficient than the traditional incandescent bulbs. We also looked at the type of electricity that we're using, and several years ago, again, we decided to uh, purchase enough renewable energy credits to offset all the electricity we use on our entire campus. Of course, that, that electricity is made on wind farms. We purchased the credits, which offsets all the electricity that we use. And uh, in fact, last year, the EPA ranked us as one of the top 15 renewable energy credit users in the entire country. Um, uh, which we're really excited about. And, and that, of course, was in the nonprofit category. And if you could tell us about a couple of the innovations, maybe things that um, don't meet the visitor's eye, but that are really cutting edge or innovative that are helping to make this building, again, a, a model as a, a green structure. And we accomplish that by doing things like opening half the roof so we get tremendous ventilation through the space. We also put in 1,800 feet of earth tubes. Now, earth tubes are big pipes, in fact these are 24 inch diameter concrete pipes that are buried about 15 feet under the ground and now when the hot air goes out through the roof of the conservatory in the summertime it draws air through the tunnels, it's all natural, there's no fans or anything, no electricity but as that air is drawn through the tunnels the ground cools the air before it gets into the space it's like getting free air conditioning. So that space actually stays 6 to 8 degrees cooler inside than outside even though it's a giant green glass box has no greenhouse effect. So when we decided to build our living building, which is going to be one of the greenest buildings in the world, uh, we thought, wouldn't it be great to show the rest of the world the great talent that we have in this region? We said, we're going to build one of the greenest buildings in the world. Let's, let's make it be a building that we can say was designed by people in Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania, and designed and built by people in Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania as an innovation to the world. So that's what we did. We, we made that challenge to ourselves. We put together a fabulous team of people from, from this region, uh, and this building's gonna open in April, and it's gonna be one of the greenest buildings in the world. And we're really excited about what it also says, not only about FIPS, but about the great talent and people we have in this region as well.